Hello guys, Career438 here. I'm back with the next part of my 2014 Mega Tin opening. So we got two more tins here. Tiger King Susanoo. Bash and Skulls to see who goes first. And because Tiger King went first last time, Susanoo is going first. Oh yeah, also I should mention, you can also, remember how I said that you, you can get a Bugente Susanwo out of this tin even though they already like made him a promo? Well, the same thing actually goes for Bujingi Crane. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I'm not going to show the promos again. Give me more views and watch the last one if you really don't remember. Give me more views. Jeez, it's not like a dick. Well, I mean... I was just kind of kidding, you know, sort of. So anyway, first pack. Now, last time we only, we got three good cards, which were Kagsuchi, um, Dichotomy, and Gyakao. So yeah, Mermelbis Osha. I've seen people tech this. And Mermos. I personally didn't, but it's a cool tech because, like, you can target, she can target herself, and then she can special summon, like, a Linde and send her, and then send herself to the rearguard, so you can't actually, like, bottomless trap hole, on, use tra bottomless trap hole on the Mermaid of this Linde, because it says then send it to the graveyard, so bottomless will actually miss its activation timing. So, yeah, go check Scare, go to Golem, Aerial Recharge. Another Mermel Abyss Ocean in the same pack. Can we get three, guys? Can we get three Mermel Abyss Oceans in the same pack? I don't know. That would be pretty amazing. Super Defense Rollout, Monkey. Honestly, if I did, I'd, I'd put them with the, um, the Tiger Kings. Uh, Mech Phantom Beast, Cal Griffin for our rare. Gravekeeper's Noble Man. Come on, Secret Rare. Oh, fuck, another Shadow Vampire. And Vampire Hunter. Wait, I've never even seen this guy. Who is this? The star of the damage stuff with this guy battles the dark monsters. I've never even heard of this guy. Okay. Maybe I'll look him up and see what set he came from. I mean, I assume his shadow specter is because of vampires, but I don't know. Uh, interplanetary, interplanetary Purple Thorny Beast, Bujingi Centipede, Xyz Block, Bujingi Wolf, King of the Feral Limbs, and Mystic Water, and Mythic Water Dragon. What about them uh, Myth Dragon rules though? What was I gonna say? Um, oh yeah, Bujingi hair is also in this set. So, this place is basically Bu Bujin Central without Hurume. Which probably doesn't cost that much anyways. We can only pull two Oshas, guys. I'm sorry. I thought we could pull the third one, but we didn't. And maybe we can get three. Maybe we can get three of the same card out of this pack. All right. From now on, I'm only gonna mention the new common because see, we got Ghouli as Drum Dragon. Um, I don't think we've gotten McFinnaby's Halyard. Mythic Tree Dragon, Five Brothers Explosion, Booge Incarnation, Crimson Knight Vampire Bram, Spellbook of Judgment, that's also in here. Yeah, they're really trolling you guys. They're really trolling you Spellbook players by putting a Spellbook of Judgment in the set because of the fact that it's now banned when it got its reap. It, it was um long banned after it got when it got its reprint. Fire Formation Yoko. Don't run that one. Rise Bell the Star Psyker. Rise Bell the Star Adjuster. Oh, we got both of them. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna get on Designator, Summon Breaker again, Melissa. 
Melissa is spoon, battling boxer hedge gear. Hey, wait, that looks familiar. <laughs> Blue Incarnation is pretty cool. We still have yet to pull your model, guys, so it's kind of useless. I don't have any of the non exceeds Blue Beast Warriors. Which really sucks. But it makes sense because they're all ultra rare. Okay, you know what? Ah. Jeez. Okay. Most of his fork. Fire King Avatar Grunix. Super Defense Robot Leo. Galaga Tag. Ghost Trick Yeti. My Friend of Beast. Black Falcon. Trap Tricks A Trax. Mask Chameleon. Ooh, nice. Got that Coat Soldier Wolf Bark Secret Rare. He's also in here for any of you Fire Fist players. I don't know if I mentioned that, but... Yeah, he's here. So, got that Wolf Bark. Super Rare is... Shit, another Mega Fan of Beast monster. Mega Fan of Beast Mega Raptor. Gorgonic Cerberus. Ghost Trick Skeletons. Public of Miracles. Which sucks. Photon Charge Man. Ghost Trick Jack Frost. And Vampire Grace. Oh my gosh, guys. I stopped showing the cards. They're all commons, though. They're not... They're not special. Mask Chameleon is pretty cool. Pretty good. Uh, you could potentially be a pretty good card in Yang Zings. Summon a Suwani. Incorporate some Xyz action into that into that deck. Only thing, of course, is that the. Uh, the Yang Zing creation stops you from exceed stops you from um, accessing exceeds monsters or fusion monsters in your extra deck, and and now technically pendulum monsters. Wait, I thought we got a rare. What was our oh Traptrix Atrax? Nemer Mello. I think she's a rare. I don't remember. Holy shit! There we go. Alright, now we got the Tiger King tin. That's the last tin. It's kind of ironic that in the Bujin tin I get Wolf Bark. I know, weird. Okay. Not going over these ones either, guys. So you're going to have to watch the previous videos if you want to know what those are. Uh, first pack of this Tiger King tin. We got that Ghost Trick Scare. Go stick, scare Tactics. We're going to go on Vampire Kingdom. Saberhawk. Bujingi Peacock, who's terrible. Yay, we got that 101. Hooray. Number 101 Silent Arc. He's ultra rare. I like 101. We've got another Spellbook Judgment. And another Mega Raptor. It might start getting redundant. Spellbook of Miracles, Brother of the Fire of Leopard, Bujin Fidel, Flying Sea. So we got two of those now. Gorgonic Gargoyle, Sylvan Blessing. Hey, you know, I just oh, whoops, wrong place. You know, I just realized that Sylvan Blessing card that we just pulled—that's really good in conjunction with Hermitry. Unless, let me just read it again. Where is it? Yeah, like if you brick Hermitry, then that card's pretty good. with him. Double Mega Raptor. 
Alright, so we got the 210. So we got the 101, guys. Let's see if we can get either Dracosac or Exiton in these two packs. I don't care which one I get. Either one would be cool at this point. We got that Memory Loss, Bujinji Boar. Oh, wait, we get Nixies. Nekumusume. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Harpy's Pet Phantasm Dragons are rare. Constellar Omega. Another, yeah, another Bujin utilization card. Also be usable in Telenites. Oh, another Nixies. Please, Felgrand, Felgrand, Felgrand. Oh, sick, guys. You got that Eagle Swarm Exiton Knight. Nice. And the reason I'm not freaking, freaking out right now, like in that one video, is obviously because he's not as expensive as he was before, so, yeah. And, oh, nice, we got the Bujingi hair, so now I have two. Leopard, Clap Surfing, Vertical Landing. Huh. Should be any number of wind monsters. You could actually use this in any wind deck because it requires you should be wind monsters, not make them into beasts. Survival of the fittest. Battle box rabbit puncher. Who would want to punch a rabbit? Dick face. Intercept tomato. Alright, so we got the X song, guys. It's pretty awesome. Uh, we got that Omega. Honestly, I think this is the best pack that I've got. I mean, the 101 is pretty cool and all. Although, Castell is better. But, I mean, dude, we got three, three of the awesome cards in the set. We got Bujingi Hair, we got Constell Omega, and we got Exiton. I know none of those are really worth any any money, guys. I know, I know. But, they're just cool to pull, because, I mean, they're trade cards, like, some people might be, like, collectors or something, and they might want that shit. I mean, the, that stuff, not that shit, that stuff. Um, anyway, there's last pack of Destiny. Let's hopefully get some good stuff in this as well. Jingi Ophidian. What is an Ophidian, by the way? If you guys can tell me that in the comments, that would be pretty cool. Shark Fortress. Ghost Trick Stein. Wheel of Prophecy. cock a doodle do And the Brothers of the Virus Coyote. She, um, Seeker. Mount Sylvania. as we super. Anomaly, Winged Sphinx, The Monarchs Awaken, The Calibrator, The Ghost Trick, Ghost Trick Mansion, Legendary Atlantean Triton, Triton, Battle Box Spark. I mean, this last pack, it's kind of shit, but uh, it's, it's okay, guys, it's okay. These tins didn't completely turn me down. I mean, we got that console or Omega, we got that, um, we got that Bujingi hair, we got... We got that Bujingi or Bujente Kagasuchi. Um, we got that Wolf Bark. Uh, we got that Dichotomy, the Xyz Encore, which is kind of cool. Um, we got we got that Gyako. Um, we got Buj Incarnation, which is also pretty cool. Wait. Oh crap! Sorry guys, that's on me. Oh my gosh. Um, we uh, we got um what is this? Oh, uh, we got um Mask a million. I mean, I wasn't really looking for him, but he's he's cool. Um. Um, we got the Exiton, we got Omega, Console Omega, a lot of cool pulls in my opinion, we didn't get Felgrim, that's cool, Star Eater, we didn't get him, but it's alright, we don't have to get all of them, 
it's okay if we get some. Because, I mean, you're not always going to get all the cool cards. As unfortunate as it may be. But anyway, off my rambling. Uh, I'm happy with the pulls I got. I really am. Although, uh, I don't look it on my face. Because I never really smile. Which kind of sucks. But, um, yeah, we, yeah, we got, I got some pretty good pulls. I hope you guys are, are lucky with these tins if you plan on buying them. Definitely a good uh, option for Christmas. If you're just trying to, like, make those older decks, you know, like Fire Fist and Bujins. Those are probably the decks you want to target because a lot of their... Well, not really Fire Fists. Although, you can potentially get Gyakau from this. I am pretty sure you can pull um, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Cardinal, which is also pretty cool. Um, there's lots of Bujin stuff in here, though. If you are looking for like Bujin stuff in general, like this is the set to to go to. I mean, you could potentially pull Yamato's, Mikazuchi's, Arasuda. I say Arasuda because you should only be running one of him. No more than one. My ratio is three Yamato, two Mikazuchi, one Arasuda, and two Hurume. But yeah, well, anyway, guys, that was my opening of the, um, of my, the Megaton, the, the 2014 Megatons, um, also, if you're looking at making Burning Abyss, if you get two, if you, if you want to make a Burning Abyss, then, then, uh, and you really don't feel like buying the Nightmare Sharks for whatever reason, then you can, you get this tin, because, I mean, not only does it come with, um, does it come with Nightmare Shark, but you also have a chance of getting out card, which is pretty cool. I think personally though, if you want the cheapest option of Battle Card, you'd get the Battle Pack. You get the Battle Pack 3 1. But don't try to pull him. He's way too hard to pull. All the all the good cards in that set are hard to pull, which is why it's a shitty set. But anyway guys, I think that is indeed enough. So I will see you guys. I will see you guys later.